Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display a message if a report has no records in it instead of just endlessly sending paper to your printer, which isn't good. So here's the problem. You accidentally hit print on a report with no data in it. Now, if you're like me and you have everything go to print preview, that's no big deal. You just see an empty report. But I know a lot of you like to send stuff straight to the printer. I've actually got one or two things that I send straight to the printer too. So, okay, fine. I'm guilty as well. So best case scenario, you waste a sheet of paper. Worst case scenario, you waste multiple sheets of paper because you might have different formatting. It's, I don't know. I don't know how your, what your reports look like, right? Now that happens and conservationists, they might pick at your company, right? And then you get fired for wasting resources. That's never a good thing. And then, you know, there's unrest in the forest and there's trouble with the trees because the trees hate you now for wasting all that paper, right? The solution is to use the on no data event. That means there's no data in this report. It'll just pop up a message saying, hey, there's nothing to print. Everyone's happy. And then the, the trees are all kept equal by hatchet X. And so, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense because now the trees aren't going to be happy. Uh, anyways, let me show you how to do this. Before we get started, if you've never done any VBA programming before, now's your chance to learn free video. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. Intro to VBA. It's about 20 minutes long. Teaches you all the basics. We really only need two lines of code. Probably do it in one, but two, two is good. Okay. Go watch this. It's nice and simple. It's not scared. Don't be scared of VBA. Okay, here's a copy of my tech help free template. This is a free download. You can grab a copy of it on my website if you want to. And in this database, I got a customer form. Customers can have orders. And if you go to print an invoice out, there it is right there. And there's your nice little pretty invoice, right? But what happens if you go to a new blank record? There's nothing in here. You go to print the invoice and it's blank. All right, well, you just wasted a print. Now, yeah, I got print preview going on here, but... If you have this set to go straight to the printer, you just wasted a piece of paper, okay? Now, if you wanna see how I built this database, go watch my invoicing video. It'll show you exactly how I built this, okay? But now what I want is, I want it so when I click on this button, all right, if the report has no data in it, it's just gonna go, sorry, there's nothing there. Now, there's a couple ways you could tackle this problem, okay? You could say, okay, if, Right in the button, you could say, if the order ID is null, just don't print it. But there's a cool thing called the on not or on no data event inside the report. Here, open this up, go to the report's properties, go to events and find on no data. Okay, this will happen. And this is also good because you could use this in like subforms and stuff too, to not waste space. Anyways, dot, dot, dot. That opens up our VB code window. And I'm inside the report no data event. And notice it can be canceled. All right, if you set cancel to true, it basically doesn't display the report or doesn't print it. So you could, with just one line of code, say cancel equals true. I know it says integer, but yeah, true is fine. It comes back as a negative one. It's good. It's either looking for zero or not zero. It's either false or not false. All right. And before or after you do that, you could pop up a little message box. You could say a message box, nothing to print like that, right? Comma VB critical. And then, you know, no data or whatever you want for the title. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. Save that. Come on back out here. Close that. Close that. Open it up. And then print this one. And you're good. Okay. And let's go try to print something that's got no data in it. And bing. No data. Nothing to print. Nothing to see here. You look, you lose. All right, there you go, that's it. That was a fast tip. So there you go, there's your fast tip. That was a pretty fast one, right? They're not all half an hour long. <laughs> if you wanna learn more about the on no data event, I cover it in my Access Developer 28 class. Yeah, this is, this is a more advanced class and I cover lots and lots of stuff in here, including batch printing, email invoices, that kind of stuff. Um, but I do spend some time on the on no data event because there's more you can do with it than what I just covered here. I just went over the basics. That's why it's a, a fast tip. But uh, yeah, go check this class out. Okay, so 
For AccessLearningZone.com, I am Richard Rost. That was your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.